COVID-19 and the resulting lockdowns across the globe have brought classroom-based learning to a standstill for many. Fortunately, all is not lost. Development in technologies have meant that online teaching has flourished during the pandemic. The results of the study are based on data collected before COVID-19. Our study involved almost 1,500 first-year students at the University of Geneva. They were randomly offered online courses in certain weeks of the term, while others, as a check, were not. Every student had the opportunity to attend face-to-face -face classes if they wanted to. Multiple choice exam questions were then linked to the material covered in each week of the term. This allowed us to assess whether students were more likely to answer correctly when they had access to online lectures. We find that the overall impact of online learning is to deepen inequalities between more and less able students. Having access to stream lectures reduces the probability of correctly answering questions by two percentage points for the least able 20% of students. But the effect at the opposite end is a positive increase of 2.5 percentage points on probability of the most able students to answer a question correctly. We also find that university students prefer to attend face-to-face -face classes. Offering streaming courses on reduces face-to-face -face participation by 8%. However, when streaming is not available, students of different abilities make different choices. High-ability students are more likely to stay at home and study the material on their own. But when faced with obstacles, such as bad weather, less able students still make the effort to go to class. This is because they find it harder to understand material without the benefits of in-person teaching and explanation. Looking forward, we need to find better forms of online teaching that can reduce inequalities. The vast array of techniques tested during the pandemic offer a unique opportunity to do so.